My field is African diaspora literatures and cultures. So my sense is that literature is critically important in any African diaspora studies program, and it has always been like that. One can have philosophy in literature, one can see social cultures in literature, uh, one can see the artistic aspects of it. Most of our thinkers have expressed themselves creatively as they also have expressed themselves intellectually. In Africana studies, we do not have a tight boundary drawn between that intellectual experience and the creative experience. The important part of research is discovery, that you stumble upon amazing bits of information. And I remember I was doing research on Claudia Jones, a black woman from the Caribbean who was buried left of Karl Marx, talking about race and gender and class. She actually articulated the politics that positioned her left of Marx, if that's possible. And looking through some old uh, journals, I found a picture of her on the cover of a journal and she was about 18 years old and she was smiling back at me and I almost screamed in the library. Often I tell students, you should never be bored by a project. If you do, you need to find another thing to do. Audre Lorde talked about the erotic, not the sexual erotic, but that moment of joy that one experiences in reaching the ultimate point of creativity, in writing a poem and completing it, in doing a research paper and nailing it. One of the limitations of our field is that we were talking often to ourselves, and I think we have to find ways that we reach communities outside of the institutions, where we reach media that then uh, is able to translate the intellectual contributions and ideas to larger communities. I hope my students take away from my classes how to be better global citizens, and Africa and the African diaspora is really a critically important part of that whole world experience.